Here we go. What's going on, Excel Fanatics? Vertex is here. I am going through a Microsoft tutorial that I found on the Microsoft site. Link is in the description. Um, so as you have seen my other, may or may not have seen my other Excel tutorial videos, this is just kind of walking through an application you can use in the Microsoft PowerPoint. And from, from here, I'll just download. This is only about five slides, just kind of showing you very quickly how to use it. And so let's go ahead and we'll jump right into it. So here is the PowerPoint slide from Microsoft walking through the presenter coach tutorial. And I did it myself and this is actually a really cool feature and, and I highly recommend you give it a shot because it's kind of fun to use. So I'm just gonna walk through these five slides real quick. And so here's the introduction, improve your public speaking skills. And it welcomes you to the presenter coach. So the presenter coach helps improve public speaking skills through AI based speech technology. Receive real time and summarized feedback on your pace, pitch, fillers, and more. So rehearse your presentation by going to slideshow tab and then click on the rehearse with coach. So the thing is right now I actually through, I'm using an older version of PowerPoint. So if I click on slideshow, the rehearse with coach option actually isn't here. So I'm gonna be switching over to PowerPoint online. Uh, but let me go ahead and finish up the rest of these slides. So what they want you to do, I'm going to copy this phrase, but they say, try this phrase here and then while the coach is recording and you'll get feedback as you're going through it. And then it actually at the very end, it'll give you a summary. So, you know, you, you click start, start reading the Contasso. I'm probably going to butcher this. The Contasso Corporation is um, a global manufacturing conglomerate, you know, with its headquarters in Paris, France. And then it gives you the feedback as I was just talking to. So it's like it deliberately tells you if you're using um and, you know, things like that you, you're not really aware of. You might not be aware of as you're talking. And if you talk too fast and, you know, it kind of keeps a I'm saying, you know, I'm kind of being more mindful as I'm talking through. These are some really key pointers. Uh, I think it's really useful. And at the end of it, it was great. They have a little pop up that shows and it tells you the summary and it gives you all these little dashboards, as you can see as in the example here. Uh, so it's some interesting stuff that you can use. Okay, so we switched over to the online version. I'm already on slideshow. And you can actually see, now you can actually see rehearse with coach. So let's go ahead and click on that. And I'm going to read the example that was in the PowerPoint presentation from Microsoft. And we'll see what happens. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start. Start rehearsing. Rehearsing. Start rehearsing. The Contasso Corporation is um a global manufacturing conglomerate, you know, with its headquarters in Paris, France. Okay, so I went ahead and paused, but you actually do see the fillers pop up while I was reading. So that was kind of cool to see. Now if I go ahead and I press I hit escape. So here you can see the summary that popped up as well. So I only spent it on the one slide. So you can see that I have the 13 seconds that were spent. It says two because I accidentally jumped to the next slide. I didn't, well, I was getting a little too uh, ahead of myself. But it tells me that how I'm pacing. Uh, it deliberately called out, you know, it didn't call out my um, which was interesting. Uh, so it lets you know if you're using any sensitive phrases, if you're repeating yourself too much, if you're repeating yourself too much, if you're repeating. And it tells me the pitch was good. God, I, yeah, I crushed this. Go me. I did just realize as I was closing out that the summary said originality was, I did, avoided reading exactly on the slide, but the thing is I did read that word for word. So I'm not really sure where that kicks in because I'm gonna do that again. Uh, for the next slide, I thought it would be fun to kind of take uh, the Thor Ragnarok script and I'm gonna read the intro from Thor when at the very beginning of the movie. Um, so I'm just gonna read this intro part using the rehearse coach and we'll see what happens. But I am just gonna read this word for word and I wanna kinda of see what the feedback I get. So let's go ahead and rehearse. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh no, Thor's in a cage. How did this happen? Well, sometimes you have to get captured just to get a straight answer out of someone. It's a long story, but basically, I'm a bit of a hero. See, I spent some time on Earth, fought some robots, saved the planet a couple of times, then I went searching through the cosmos for some magic, colorful infinity stone things. Didn't find any. That's when I came across a path of death and destruction which led me all the way here into this cage, where I met you. 
All right, so let's see what kind of feedback I got. I'm going to hit escape. So now, so this actually is calling me out saying, try to avoid reading the slides, to summarize your key points, which is true in a PowerPoint, but I'm just kind of using this as an example. And pace was still pretty good. 33 seconds I spent on it. And I used basically, because I was reading the script, so those are kind of some words that they're suggesting to avoid using. And repetitive language. This is a new feature, I suppose. I didn't see that last time. Low pitch variation will make your audience lose interest. Try increasing the tone for your key points. That could be probably the problem with all my other YouTube videos. And the originality. So this is right. So this is what they told me was uh, the problem. So this is, I thought this was cool. I highly recommend giving this a shot. Like I said, um, there is a link uh, to the Microsoft uh, tutorial site if you want to try to learn how to use it yourself. Again, as I showed, if you don't have the most recent version of PowerPoint, go to Microsoft online and you can use the most recent version as I just showed you. Really fun to use. I uh, hope you had a good time watching this. I know I had fun. And thank you guys so much for watching.